This is a square wave based inverter project which I commenced design some time ago. The goal for this project is to achieve at this stage 300 to 500 wattage of output power, low battery voltage cutoff, voltage feedback and power log over time. This is the part 2 of my publication on this journey and I will be sharing with you all the process taken to achieve this stage in my development. Kicking off the assembly, I started by applying soldering paste for the SMD components. I placed carefully all the SMD components in the right position while having them ready for soldering. Completing that, I placed the board on the preheating station and turned it on for use. Around 180 degrees of heating, the soldering process started just as you can see some components soldered and others in the process. After a few minutes of cooling, I removed the soldered board from the preheating station and examined the soldering. Every component is in alignment even though I didn't use stencil for the soldering paste layout. It's now time to solder the true hole components which I have assembled. Placing the board on the helping hand, I kicked off soldering and after a few minutes, I now have the board looking like this. I left the ferrite core transformer and the MOSFET out of the board as I will be testing the high frequency oscillation part of the circuit. I'm using a G3525 chip coupled with the Atmega 328P and LM358 op-amp chip for this stage of the circuit. SG3525IC is the primary oscillator while I use the LM358IC for the voltage monitoring and the Atmega chip for the LCD interface, data log and much more you will see in the other part of this build. Having everything connected, I set the input voltage to 14 volt and power up the board. The blue LED shows that the battery voltage is up to 12V, which is the normal usage range for this build, and the red LED shows that the battery is below preset point, which falls below 11.6V, just as you can see while I toggle the power supply. This part of the circuit shows that the comparator part of this build is working, which I designed around LM358IC. Next, it's time to test the oscillator part of this circuit. I use the extendable wires to connect to the output signal point of my oscillator circuit. Wiring and powering everything up, this is the result I got. With auto range, I can visualize this result. First, the oscillator is working with a frequency of 76 kHz. Secondly, the two output signals are inverse of each other, which corresponds to the push-pull topology I'm building upon. When the right output, in this case yellow signal, is on, the left output, in this case blue signal, is off. And when the yellow signal is off, the blue is on, and this confirms the oscillation. With this result, I can move over to the next part of this build, which I will be sharing in the next video, so stay tuned. In conclusion, the oscillation stops when the comparator output goes low, which in this case is visualized using the red LED. It's cool to be back on this long time build which I abandoned over time and I'm open to getting your insight on the comment section as I'll be glad to be designing this project with your input. With that said, I will be seeing you in the next video. Do have a great day.